Hey everybody, I'm Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network and this is my YouTube channel, Debt Bites. Be sure to like it if you like the video that is and you can participate in the comments below. Today, I'm back to talk about dealing with SoFi loans. Now, Social Finance or SoFi is an online lender for all intents and purposes. It's not like a brick and mortar bank and they do a lot of consolidation loans. They do even, they work with Mohila on educational loans. You can refinance existing education loans into a SoFi loan, and they usually target higher income earners. If you are having a problem maintaining payments with SoFi, you have the same kind of options that I talk about in, in other places on our YouTube channel and certainly on the consumerrecoverynetwork.com website. But SoFi is just a little bit different, again, because they have uh, usually a higher income earner as, as a borrower. They have a different view about how collectible people are. And this is debt collection in general. Everybody's paying attention to what your income is or income potential might be. If you have assets or a home loan and think people with, that have things that look good about them on their credit, they just seem more collectible. And because SoFi deals with higher income earners, they might think that you're more collectible and you might be. So dealing with SoFi and getting some kind of better monthly payment from them, you won't really be able to do like you can with say a credit card, or they're really not that open to participating in credit counseling plans. These are debt management plans that kind of put you on a five-year payoff path and your payments are lower because the interest rate is reduced and so if I just doesn't do that, like most online lenders, they don't do that. But you can usually include a SoFi loan that is not education-based, uh, just like a consolidation loan for other debts or other types of unsecured loans from them. You can include those in a bankruptcy and you can absolutely negotiate lower payoffs or settlements with SoFi, which is really what this video is about because that's a little more nuanced, right? Bankruptcy, you can either qualify for Chapter 7 or you can't, you know? Um, you can either work with SoFi on some temporary one or two skip a payment hardship, which is about as good as it gets with them, or you can settle with them. Now, settling requires you to be late, and so you do give up your credit score whenever you have to fall late with a creditor in order to settle with them. And you might be watching this video and you are already late, so you already gave up some of your credit score. But you may not find settling with SoFi as um, streamlined or predictable that in the same way that I cover debt settlement with other online lenders and certainly with banks who have a little bit more of a robust process for that and internal people that specialize in helping you do that. So what tends to happen in our experience ever since SoFi loans became available is you end up having to settle them with debt collection agencies, debt collection law firms. And here more recently, SoFi started selling debt. Uh, right now, most of where they're selling debt is to resurgent capital management, which, you know, once you're dealing with a debt buyer or dealing with a collection law firm or a collection agency that they might send the account out to, things become more streamlined. Things become more ABC123, you know, comparative to a lot of the other things that we cover on our YouTube channel, dealing with other creditors. It's, it's just more predictable. And so it's okay that that happens and you kind of almost want it to happen so that you can resolve your account. If you have, and a lot of times this is the case, uh, it's not just one loan that you're struggling with. It's like this account and these accounts. It, it's a lot more of um, kind of a prioritization and a strategy that you wanna outline in the beginning before you get started with this creditor or that creditor. It can be important to huddle up and talk with somebody like me, an expert, and help you prioritize who's first, second, third, fourth. If SoFi's settlement can be extended out, to, hey, half off and 12 to 24 months to pay, can you manage it along with some other things that might you know, go to aggressive collectors that you can prevent? And I do those phone calls for free. You just call the number on the screen, press option two, that will connect to me. You can also schedule with me using the consultation link in the description of the video below. And as I mentioned at the beginning, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more. See you on the next video.